What is up, everypony? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are looking at Annihilation again. There has been a lot more episodes released, and I was told in one of these episodes up here that I'm actually in it. This is the second AU I've been a part of. But last time we left off, we were on episode 6, so now we're going from episode 17 all the way until episode 19. So let's get to work, shall we? MLP Annihilation, the Shimmer Virus, may contain mature topics not intended for a young audience. Content rating in episode. Level 3 rating is mature. Moving on. Warning, Annihilation is not intended for a young audience. There will be violence, swearing, weapons, blood, and other disturbing topics that is not suitable for young audience or those disturbed by these topics. Proceed with this in mind. Do not post your age in the comments if you're under 18. I see you kids doing what you're about to do. I will delete those comments. Moving on. I paused it. So we got Applejack taking a little sleep. Ah! I remember, uh, yeah, Rarity's uh, hoof started getting real fucked up. Get the, get the maggots, what? They're eating me, get out. Oh, she has maggots in her hoof. Oh, well, calm down now. There's no maggots, Rarity. They, they were my leg, I saw it. Damn it. That's where the bite is messing with your head. We gotta find a way to stop the spread to give us more time. Cut it off. Oh, shit. Pardon? Cut off my leg. I'm sorry about this. Oh, the thought. Oh my god. Day six. She's getting weak. Must be from blood loss. Twilight, I reckon you're not doing too well yourself, but Rarity is losing too much blood and I can't stop it myself. I think the best bet is getting her to the hospital. I know there is a very slim chance that the hospital is safe, but I still gotta try. I'm gonna have to carry her, so those things are gonna be able to sneak up on me. I need your help if you're able. Twilight, I'll help. I'm coming. Oh, Twilight's coming out. That's good. Oh, there's no. So sorry, I had to re-upload because some of the text got cut off. Oh, that's sad. Moving on. Day seven. Now listen here, Twy. Them ponies out there are gonna look like our friends, but they're not in there anymore. You cannot hesitate. The scent of decay filled the streets of Ponyville. Damn, that's an infected right there. Oh, did she just get bit again or did she get killed? I think she might have killed her. Twy. Twy, we need to keep moving. Oh, fuck. I killed Shirley. Oh, my stars. That's not Shirley anymore. Okay, yeah, I thought she killed her. This one's mature. Day seven. In a whisper. Damn, this place looks like it's crawling with them. I reckon if we're quick, we might be able to get in before any of them notice us. In a panicked whisper, hurry up. They've definitely noticed us. I'm trying. Well, try harder. They're getting closer. I am. It's locked. What do you mean it's locked? I mean it's locked. We have to move. They're getting close. Fuck. All right. We got to run. Get in quickly. Oh, Nurse Redheart. Location, Ponyville Hospital. Status is alive. Health is 95%. Mood is panicked. Stress is 60. Sanity is 80. Infected is false. So she's not infected. Danger level is 30%. Notes. One of the last surviving nurses at the hospital has been helping minor injury cases. Is the only nurse letting people into the hospital. The other staff refuse to let new ponies in. Currently the head nurse. We have to quarantine you three for now. Okay. This one's also mature. Day seven. Please don't say my girl's infected, bro. Oh, Fluttershy, I, find, I found the cure finally. You never believed the chaos Angel Bunny caused in the other dimension. <laughs> he checks her room but only finds blood in her house being empty. Fluttershy? No. 
No, 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 please. Why'd they kill my girl, bro? Please don't do this to please, please my butterfly. Oh, they killed Flutters. God damn it. Another one that's mature. Pinky's hiding. It sounds quiet now. Maybe their prank is over. It wasn't a very fun prank. Maybe I should check. I don't know. My pinky senses are giving me a pinchy knee. I guess I'll check. Gasp. That's no prank, bro. That's no prank. Are they eating the baby? They're eating the baby. Wait, they were crying while eating. I just looked at the... Oh, they are. They are crying while eating the baby. That means they must have some kind of consciousness left. Medium maturity. So this one's not as bad. Day six. Oh, Celestia, what's happening? What's going on? Pinky. Smile. Fun. No, no, something's wrong with them. I need to get out. No, no, this is wrong. This is very wrong. Crash. That music. So this one's safe. This one's okay to look at. This one doesn't have really anything explicit. Day four. Where am I? Everything hurts. Where am I going? Where did she go? I need to find her. Scootaloo. As that must be Rainbow Dash. Yeah, that has to be Rainbow Dash. Hi there, I'm Annie, your totally non-cannibalistic zombie host. Anyways, in this ma AU mascot, I'm here to chat about some things. First, no, this episode isn't about me. It's about a character in the story. I may or may not show up later. You'll have to see. Second thing, hi, James, if you're reading this. Oh, hey, it's me. I'm so excited that you checked out my AU and made a video on it. I love your video so much. You're the whole reason I wanted to make this series because listening to you read out these awesome AUs totally inspired me to make my own story. Annihilation wouldn't have been a thing without you. I really hope you and everyone reading this has enjoyed the story so far. There is so much to come. As long as people are interested in this, I'll try to keep making more. Aww. Yeah, I love your story. It's great. It's fantastic. Third thing is that I have a long term planned out for this AU, but I do not want everyone to be able to influence the story. So my ideas are vague. In case you guys want to change up my story, I want to work on this. I want to work with you on all of this AU. Okay, I don't know. Why can't I read today? What is wrong with me? Last thing is that we have a Discord server with an amazing community. Everyone is so friendly and welcoming, and I'd love to, to interact with you, reader. We have sneak peeks, contests, fan submissions, and other things you can chat and also get your characters added into the background. The link is in the bio. Ooh. Ooh, where's the bio? Oh, wait, it's in the bio of their account. I'm going to join it after and say hello. <laughs> that's all. Thank you so much for turning into Annihilation. See you soon. Fan art feature. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. All right, moving on. Safe. Day six. Wait, did that say day six? Yeah, day six. Slam. Gasp, gasp, gasp. Phew. I don't understand. I can tell what's real. The town's ponies know pranks like these aren't funny, since what Dash did that one time. But it can't be real. My parents would never hurt the twins. No, this is all just a prank. Still, this isn't real, and my mind is making me think it's real. It has to... Pinch, pinch. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, dramatic internal monologue el elsewhere. Got it. Or no, okay. Okay, so this is all a prank. Someone's going to come and tell me when they realized it went too far. Yeah, that's what'll happen. Why am I still crying? It's not real. Pinky, come on, it's not real. Ah, help me. Oh, this one's mature. Okay. Day six. Some pony help me, ah! Ah! What the fuck? Leave me alone, please, somebody help me! Hey friends! I know you guys are having fun with your prank, but you're scaring Sweetie Belle, which makes it not fun anymore. Could you please stop? Let's play. Huh, weird, usually ponies will listen when they know it's gone too far. All right, then you're asking for it. Distraction. Damn. Pinky's probably gonna die. Day six. That'll teach them to do bad pranks. Are you bit? Huh? Why would they bite me? They're just playing. They wouldn't hurt me. What? 
Pinky, I'm being serious. But, um, no, I wasn't bitten. Why? Good, okay, we gotta start blocking the windows and door. Oh, are we playing zombie tag? Pinky, this isn't a game. Stop messing around. We gotta make this place safe. This is real? What do you mean? Of course it is. Okay, we need to cover the doors and windows. If we need to, we can... I can't read up the rest. It's getting blurred. Oh, they, she just realized her parents are gone. That sucks. Damn. That's depressing. Day six. Fizzle. Clank, clank. Shoot, I've used too much magic. Hmm. Pinky. I, I need help blocking the door. My magic fizzled, so I can't lift the wood anymore. Aw, oh, poor Pinky. Please? Do you think that Rarity is okay? I'm sure she is, Sweetie Belle. If any pony can handle this kind of stuff, it's Rarity. She is the strongest pony I know, even though she acts all dainty. She was bitten, but that doesn't... All the monsters outside are bit somewhere on them. That's the only thing they have. They all have in common. If you're bit, then you become a monster too. She's bit and she's probably one of them. Or worse, dead. Sweetie Belle. She's one of them. No, she'd never be... One. She's too scared of yucky germs like that. She probably washed away all that bad in the bite. And she's alright now, I promise. And now we got 19, so this is the one that I'm assuming has to do with me because I was told by a few people in my Discord server, including Ina herself, that I was included in an episode and I haven't seen myself yet. And this is the final one, so I'm assuming I'm in this one. So let's find out what my role is here. Day 8. Pace, pace, Applejack. Oh, that's me. I appear to be... Sitting on a bench, looking at papers. And little Derpy's next to me. Hey, they didn't kill Derpy! What's up? That's awesome! Come back with me, please. Alright. How are they doing? Stable for now. Twilight is still showing signs of infection, but she is... Yet to turn. Rarity is still in comatose state from the blood loss. Will they be okay? Hard to say. We don't have any cases of a pony surviving a bite. All have turned. But have you tried removing the bite before like we did with Rarity's leg? Can't say we have. Most of the sick ponies we had turned feral before we knew what we were dealing with. So there's still a chance that Rarity isn't sick anymore. A very slim chance. We're unaware of what's causing the sickness still, so it might already be in her blood rather than just isolating in the bitten limb. I've gotten blood samples from ponies and I was going to take them to Twilight. I figured she'd be able to help me make sense of it. So I'm going to have to visit her now. I just wanted to let you know that her and Rarity are stable for now. Well, I thank you kindly for taking us in and helping us despite the situation. You and your friends are always go out of their way to help us. This is the least we should do for you guys. Okay, so I take it this blood sample is from a healthy pony. Mm-hmm. All right, normal amount of blood cells, normal amount of magic cells... Was this an Earth Pony or Pegasus? Pegasus, but the Earth Pony sample appeared the same. Okay, Unicorn now. Hmm. The extra magic cells are normal. I know. Just wanted to make sure. Oh, jeez. This is the infected slide. We're not sure about what, though. Or we're not sure what, though. There are spores, but I've never seen spores like this before. Huh, interesting. They're latching onto the magic cells, and the magic cells are bursting open. That would mean the sickness or whatever is killing the magic cells. Are the spores causing the sickness? I don't think so. Might be causing some symptoms, but these spores just seem to kill off cells, not change them into something feral-like. This is your slide. What? How? Magic cells are supposed to be... Double. How do I have single ones? I have more than a unicorn, even. Most of the spores seem broken. Maybe even dead, too. Interesting, the single magic cells are attacking the spore cells. This would explain why I'm feeling better. Well, what does that mean? I'm not sure, honestly. The spores 
could be there for anything. Could be a way to weaken the host. Could be a way to feed from the host. I'm not sure. Could mean my body can possibly fight off the sickness. I don't get it. Those are basic spores. They aren't making, or they aren't any of the kind that would make a pony like the ones attacking ponies. They seem like they're just feeding off the pony, but then what's causing this behavior? So the spores don't cause the change. No, the spores are just killing off healthy cells in our body. Then what's causing it? I'm not sure. It has to be affecting the brain to make their behavior suddenly change. I'd have to inspect the brain of one of the fully changed ponies to know for sure. Whoosh. Discord? Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? We're in a bit of a bind if you hadn't noticed. All these here ponies are getting sick with something, and it's making them all hostile. Seems like if you're bit, then you become hostile too. It's called the Shimmer. So you do know what it is. Do you know how to fix it? I do. Thanks, Celestia's son. Twy and Rarity got bit. I for sure thought we were doomed. Who killed Fluttershy? What? She she was sick too, and she kept biting other ponies. We, who killed Fluttershy? I did. I'm mighty sorry. She was hurting other ponies and killing them. I couldn't stop her otherwise. This is the cure. Aw. Featured Survivor. Annihilation fans OCs have been featured within this episode. Jamie slash Riku. Owned by James E. Life. Yep, that's me. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice to see I'm a part of something as cool as this. That's actually really cool. Hey guys, so episode 20 is going to be a two-partner. And is going to end season one. I want to take extra time to make sure these drawings are perfect. So I might take a bit to upload them. They'll come out together. Anyway, this was part two that I've done of Annihilation. Annihilation is a really solid story. And I honestly expected Discord was going to go ape shit when he found out Applejack had to kill Fluttershy. So him giving her the cure was kind of warming to me. It made my heart feel a little warm on the inside. But anyway, I really like this story. I really do. And the fact that I was put into this story is really nice. And also I do apologize that there's times I couldn't read properly because I'm a fucking idiot. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you did. Dislike if you didn't. This will be linked in the description for everyone to check out for themselves. It is a really good story. Let's get MOP Annihilation to 5,000 followers. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Fuck on